What's up guys, Tea Party Percy here and welcome back to a new guide. This time we're going to talk about the VPN options for the game Ascent Infinite Realm. Short Air, I'm going to call it from now on Air because the other name is too long. So yeah, I'm going to explain to you guys in this video which VPN you should use or in general why should you use a VPN at all and um, how to set up that VPN and everything else you need to know about the VPN. So yeah, let's go. First of all, we heard about the news that they're going to implement an IP block for this game. It's not active yet. So if you watched my last video, made an account and got a code. By the way, there are some issues on the website and you are not able to get a beta code. Apparently it will get fixed before the beta starts. So be patient or try to get some codes from the Discord or from the community in Reddit. And yeah, if you made an account after that and start um, download the launcher and click play, you can get up to the point where you can see the server. So no IP block yet. But once you have the IP block, you need to have a VPN to play this game. But a VPN is not only there to uh, change your IP so that you can bypass the IP block. Let me explain you why you need a VPN except for, you know, bypassing um, IP block. Brace yourself, incoming amazing pain skills. Ta-da! <laughs> okay. As you can see, the top, that is how it looks like when you try to connect from your PC to the game server. It's not like that that your PC or the um, internet connection gonna pick the shortest route from your PC to the game server. So you can use actually, there are different tools to find out how you connect from your PC to a certain IP. And usually it looks like this. It's gonna connect to nodes all over the place to different countries which are not even in the center of your PC and game server. So the more connection your internet goes through or the more different nodes it goes through, uh, the higher your ping gonna be and the slower your download speed gonna be. Download speed is important to um, get, you know, uh, or update the game and uh, download the patch. But if you use a VPN, a right one or a properly working one, then it's going to connect your PC to a node which is right at the center between your PC and the game server and then connect that from that node to the game server. So the distance traveled is a lot shorter compared to without a VPN. So your ping will be lower and you will be able to download faster. So that's why you should use a VPN even if there's no IP block. The further you are away from a game server, the better your ping and download speed gonna be if you use a VPN. Now, let's right jump into the VPN which I want to suggest, but before that, a warning, guys, listen till uh, the end of this video, don't go, I hope you didn't register on exit lag and download it and logged in there because you're gonna activate as soon as you log in into the client the download client you're gonna activate the three days trial don't do that i would really suggest you to wait until one day before the game launches and then activate your three day trial by logging in into the client and then you will have one day to set up the vpn and then you will have two days to test the game in total, you will have three days trial on exit lag. So why do I prefer exit lag over the other VPNs? I tested with my community, like, I don't know, hundreds of members when the OBT or the CBT for Lost Ark started, we tried out a lot of VPNs. The best VPN from all of those was exit lag. There are also other, some decent one like Matfish and Noping, but overall exit lag excels in everything first you have some download nodes which makes it easier to download the game or patch the game and the download speed is a lot better than with most of the other vpns then you will have a stable connection uh, you can have multiple connection going through the actual vpn so if one of the connection breaks the other connection going to activate and you won't get a dc in game the most important part the ping is pretty low. Another factor is it is a game VPN. If you don't know what a game VPN is or a full VPN, to make it short, full VPN means if you connect to your 
I don't know, a Korean node, everything you do on your PC will go to that connection. So your entire PC will be slow. But a game VPN, you can activate the VPN only for certain programs, like a game. And then only the game will go through that node. Everything else will use your normal internet, so you can browse with your normal internet with normal speed, and the game will go through the VPN. Now, before I explain you guys how to set up the exit lag client, let me show you where you have to go register and download exit lag. As you can see, you have to go to exitlag.com and you will be able to check the price, register, which is straightforward. I think I don't need to explain that. And then you can download it. If you want to support me, you can use the referral link down below in the description. If not, you can just go to exitlag.com. Again, guys, Use the three day trials wisely and don't activate it too early. Try it out. And then if you decide it's a good one, it works fine for you, then go for the, I don't know, 30 days, 90 days or 180 days of VPN. If you have any issues, you can click here and join their discord. There's at least one guy active all the time and if we had any issues in previous games with exit lag connection, they fixed those issues in less than one day most of the time. Also, if you want to buy this and uh, want to get a 15% discount, you can use Tea Party as a code to get the 15% discount. I'm going to link that be down below too. Now, after you register an account and download the client, make sure that you install the VPN with admin rights and also make an exception in your Windows firewalls and antivirus program because most of the time those two things, the Defender or Windows firewall and antivirus programs block VPNs. It happens most of the time so just make sure it doesn't block it and ExitLag has a pop-up which actually tells you if any firewalls block the VPN. So if you get that pop-up just check out if anything blocks it and then you will be good. Now let's go to the actual exit like client. This is the exit like client, which is pretty easy to understand. On the left side, you can see all the items which you can add. Most it's all like most of the time. Those are games. There are like also some browsers there. We're going to use this browser to check if exit like is working properly. I'm going to explain that later, but first you should go to tools In tools. You should change two settings. Um, the first one will be the accuracy in root and optimization. I would suggest you guys to change it from medium to high and then on FPS boost, you should activate define minimum processing priority for system services. This one is really useful because you know you're playing a game and then suddenly windows decides to make an update or some i don't know some windows uh, or system related process is going to take up most of your cpu if you activate that the priority for the games will be higher than windows uh, system services and this is going to lead to less fps issues now let's go back to the exit lag program and how to set up the item once you have installed it and changed the settings how I suggested it and don't have any issues with um, Defender or like pop-ups, you should go here, search for Chrome and then you will have this window here. Go and pick, I don't know, pick for, for example, Korea. Make sure you always mark on all of those games later also on um, Ascend Infinite Real this thing here use the route within my country first so it's going to pick a route which is close to you like i explained on my um on my amazing picture it's going to pick a node which is close to you to stabilize the connection and then it's going to connect from that node to the game server so activate this that option and then apply it's going to do some calculation stuff there and then it will be here in the dashboard the dashboard, if this icon or the circle is grayed out, that means it's not active. If it's red, it means it's active. So you have to activate it just by clicking here and then you can go to your Chrome or your browser 
of course you have to pick the chrome browser or start the chrome browser if you have the chrome icon activated or the item activated and then check on i don't know websites like whatismyip.com if it shows that you are from korea because if you have this item active and exit lag works pr properly then you should see a korean ip if not there's something blocking your exit lag uh, or you didn't install it properly if it works then you are good to go and then just wait for the game to launch and then you can add the um, ascend infinite room item here which is already here i would also suggest you guys to add two tcp routes that's what i explained earlier if one of the connections loses uh I don't know disconnects then the other one will get activated and you won't lose your connection in game again this should be active you cut you can already select the uh, region here so i would check with which of those regions you will have uh, the lowest ping on your um, game or in your game just as an example i activated here um, the chrome vpn and as you can see it is red now and I have three tabs open, so which means all the tabs are connected to a Korean node. And you can see the ping here. Um, usually with Chrome, the pings are higher. Um, as an example, my ping to the Lost Ark Korean server was below 250 MS, which is pretty amazing. And if the connection works, you can see here on the latency. If it shows the MS, you are uh, you can be sure. Okay, it works also. And uh, if you only see dots, then there is also some issues with your Defender or your VPN. So again, download this client one day before um, the actual game starts, set it up, check if it works properly, um, just by going through the stuff which I just mentioned, and then wait until the game starts. You will have two days to try it out. And if you are happy with it and um, you want to keep it, then just go buy their 30 days or 60 days subscription. If you want, you can also use the Tea Party code for 15% discount. Okay, guys, that's it for today. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. And of course, you can join our Discord, which is linked down below. Uh, most of the guys there are veterans. <laughs> in using exit lag, they used it like for six months already for... Uh, lost Ark, they will be able to help you too if I am not online and um, I'm gonna make another video later today about um, the game itself the current situation and um, until then guys have a nice day and see ya bye bye your tea party person